Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. This is most likely going to be a fairly short reading video tonight, but I had to hop on and record this reading because I have felt a lot of really emotional energy coming through for a subset of our beautiful YouTube collective here. So with that being said, I don't feel this message will necessarily be for everyone. It will most likely connect with a specific group of individuals who are tuned in and subscribed to this channel. Which, by the way, if you do subscribe to this channel, it does help me to pick up on your energy more easily and channel more specifically for you both in this reading as well as in future reading videos. I feel that I'm speaking to a feminine energy here. Now, do keep in mind these labels, masculine and feminine, are meant to connect with energy dynamics, not necessarily with a particular gender. I also saw the number 16 and I feel this might be significant for someone as well. I feel that this is a divine feminine energy picking up on a lot of energy from a masculine who is at a distance from her. And this masculine is in a state of deep regrets about something because the regret card came out very strongly and this card says, I know that I cannot change the past, but I felt that there's almost this continuation on that message from this masculine that says, but I wish I could. I wish I could change the past. There is also the hermit card coming out here for this masculine energy, meaning that he is absolutely spending a lot of time alone by himself and i almost wanted to say that in these times he is alone he could be kind of stewing or brooding in these regretful energies and hopefully we'll be able to channel more on that specifically very soon but oddly i really felt pulled to the roomy oracle deck which i'm saying is a bit odd because usually i only pull from this deck during a twin flame reading at the end of the readings so right away this tells me that we could be dealing with a twin flame situation potentially, although of course only you know how this situation will connect for you. I'm getting the letters A and L for someone, potentially even the name Ali, but also I'm picking up that someone here could have Taurus energy in their birth charts. I'm also getting for some reason that for many who are listening, the masculine who this divine feminine is energetically sensing at this time will be someone who is skeptical of astrology and birth charts and these kinds of spiritual topics and materials in general. And yet his higher self here wants me to say, I am a skeptic, but you made me a believer. Meeting you made me believe in these things. But for some reason, there's also a lot of pain here. It's almost as though because this masculine feels so much pain when he is apart from you, I'm hearing pain that I can't numb and that doesn't go away. It causes him to really awaken to this higher level spiritual truth not just about your connection but about himself as well i feel like your connection to this person is highly spiritual i just saw the number 420 and as many of us know this also can be associated with a particular substance that i don't want to mention in youtube videos to keep these videos family friendly on youtube but this masculine might I'm hearing smoke or use particular substances. He also might use these things to try and numb out his feelings about you coming through really intensely at this time, Divine Feminine. However, going back to that Rumi Oracle deck that I said I felt guided to, I did just pull a card from that deck 
and this is the number 26 card so that could be a significant number to someone i'm also seeing the month of march coming through as potentially significant to someone as well and this card says al azza star of venus so i'm going to read a little bit from the rumi oracle guidebook for this card and i have to tell you just channeling your energy with this person i keep feeling this tugging sensation at my chest center on my heart chakra i literally feel this masculine divine feminine pulling on your energy like he's pulling a string attached to your heart. I also feel that in many cases you will be physically feeling this the most and emotionally feeling this the most late at nights around when you are sleeping or when you are awakening and part of the reason for this I promise we will get to this roomy card there are just so many messages and downloads coming through so by the way thank you to all of you beautiful powerful spiritual beings who are here, who are present, who are tuned into this channel and bringing your energy to these readings because as I always say, we are truly co-creators here on this channel. So thank you for being parts of that co-creative process in these messages. But I'm sorry, we have to, before we get to this Rumi card, we have to channel a little bit about why you're feeling this masculine so strongly, especially late at nights or in the morning, because frankly, I feel like you are having dream state or astral experiences where you are connecting spiritually energetically with this person you might be consciously dreaming about them but i'm hearing that for many this is actually happening really unconsciously so you might not even realize that you're dreaming about this person i'm hearing for some this might feel like a conversation that you never had but that part of you thinks that you had because you dreamt the conversation with this person but if that doesn't resonate know that this is actually how this masculine could be feeling about you they could find themselves feeling as though they are constantly in some kind of communication with you even when you're not there or they may even think that they had a conversation with you that you didn't have and again this is just another way that you are connecting with this person because you are so intrinsically spiritually connected as well so i want to know for those of you who are either consciously or unconsciously dreaming about this person yeah the reason that you are is because with the thinking man uprights the reason if you're dreaming of this person or you suspect you're having these unconscious astral experiences with this masculine it's because he is thinking of you consciously extremely heavily i'm getting a name with an e in it for someone okay so what's is this masculine thinking when he is consciously thinking about the feminine here what is running through his mind let's pull a hidden truth oracle it was my fault but i blamed you i'm hearing blame game i almost feel as though there may have been some kind of arguments between you and this person last time you spoke or some kind of tension i feel like this masculine may have struggled with pride or arrogance in the past and because of this may have accused you or blamed you divine feminine for things that actually were their faults and i feel that they're realizing the role that they played in these situations and feeling a very deep i want to say almost just like an aching sense of regret because it is a very intense feeling okay so now i am going to channel a little bit from the rumi oracle here so the rumi oracle guidebook for the card we pulled earlier says i am the pure lights my son i am not a handful of worthless dust i am not just an empty shell I am a regal pearl formed in this world. I feel like there is a divine feminine here 
who is really realizing consciously her true value and worth and stepping into her spiritual mission or purpose in some very conscious way. I also feel this is a divine feminine who has been on a process of spiritual awakening for a while. For some reason, I'm hearing six or seven years for someone and I keep seeing the year like 2016 or 2017 being significant for this divine feminine. I'm also seeing the color red potentially being associated with her as well. But anyway, the guidebook also says, close your eyes to see and become aware of me. And I feel this divine feminine speaking to the masculine saying, allow this love and even the pain and regret you are feeling to awaken you spiritually to who you truly are, to allow you to realize your own true value, worth, and purpose on this planet just as I am realizing mine. I am getting a lot of twin flame energy from these cards. Perceive me with eyes that see the unseen. Come into the mystery to find me. I am a carefree visitor here for you, Rumi. And the guidebook also says, your soul is sensual and dances with life, with utter abandonments and devotion, though the ways of this world seem strange to you at times. You eventually declare it to be nothing but strange beauty and expand your hearts, resisting nothing, to allow all to be bathed in the radiance of your being. And Divine Feminine, this next message is absolutely for someone specific listening. And this message is, you are here to share the lights of another world, a blessed world of consciousness pure and divinity so absolute that it transcends duality and instead brings into the oneness of the greatest love, brings all into the oneness of the greatest love. I left out that very important word there because I feel like with that word all, it's like divine feminine, your energy, your presence here on earth, the radiance of your being literally touches every person in every room you walk into and has more of a positive effect on people and situations, environments, connections around you than you consciously realize. But your guides are really trying to get you to more consciously connect with that power and worthiness. So I am going to pull a few more messages from this masculine energy for you, Divine Feminine. But for those of you who are connecting with this reading, I do want to recommend a few powerful subliminal meditations that you can use to deeply reprogram your subconscious mind and in doing so, quite literally magnetize your energy for all of your heart's desires in life and and in love. Subliminals are really powerful sound therapy tools because they access the subconscious parts of your mind, of your energy, which it's actually the subconscious that controls 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes in life. So because I am so passionate about subliminals, I've created more than 100 of them on my website, soundandsoulful.com. So as you can see on this screen on this website i've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life so i have subliminals for physical appearance changes for mood shifts for love and relationships for money manifestation business success for twin flames and for so much more and when you sign up for a free trial account on my website you can try out any subliminal i've created and even create your own custom private playlists completely free for seven days so specifically for you divine feminine whoever you are connecting with this reading i will be leaving links under this video to the subliminals i would most recommend for you if you are getting started with subliminal meditation 
and specifically I would recommend the Awakened Divine Feminine, the Seven Chakra Clearing, and the Twin Flame Surrender. Now, if this situation is a Twin Flame situation, I know that what you're experiencing is extremely intense and this Twin Flame Surrender Subliminal specifically will really assist you in navigating these energies, releasing fears, anxieties around this situation, and even more powerfully, it will shift you into a 5D energetic union with your true Divine Masculine counterpart that will really help you become effortlessly magnetic both within your life and within this connection and the seven chakra clearing and awakened divine feminine subliminal are also very powerful daily energy clearing and energy re-magnetizing tools and you can explore more about all three of those subliminals i recommend for you in the pinned comments and description box under the video and and again, you can try out any of them free for seven days when you create a free trial account on my site. So let's go ahead and channel a few final messages for how this masculine energy is feeling about you, Divine Feminine. So what is this masculine feeling? Disconnected with the crown chakra in the reverse position. I hear a masculine here saying the intensity of our spiritual bonds actually scared me. Again, I feel this could be a masculine who in general has a lot of skepticism around spirituality. However, with victory in the upright position, and I have to tell you, with this card, I felt instantaneously connected in with this masculine's higher self because what's happening here, and hopefully if you're interested, by the way, let me know in the comments if any of this is resonating because I'd love to share more information about this connection and from this specific masculine energy in the future if it is connecting with some of you. But the confusing thing about this is you divine feminine are experiencing a relationship right now that is very intense with this masculine at two different levels so in part you are communicating with his higher self here and actually more accurately his higher self is really trying to communicate with you coming to you in dreams either consciously or unconsciously sending you a lot of energy asking you with the garden and the gate reversed to hold space for him to hold a light for him to hold really i'm hearing to lead the way to lead the way for him by continuing to have the courage to step into your own passion and purpose to continue moving forward on your own path of awakening because this is how you hold the space within this connection it's by choosing yourself by choosing your souls to live your soul's mission and purpose here on earth even when you feel lonely or discouraged and i see this masculine's higher self sending you support along that mission right now even at times when you feel lonely or disconnected but as i said the confusing thing is at the same time you're experiencing this secondary relationship with this masculine at the 3d level that i feel is much more energetically chaotic confusing for some reason the word draining is coming out so there could be something even physically draining about the 3d aspects of this connection and do let me know if you want to hear more on this in the future because when it comes to these highly spiritual bonds soul bonds soul connections it can be really confusing because part of the connection is so earthly so human so 3d and another aspect of it happens very unconsciously constantly but energetically and i just kind of lost my voice a little bit there so i feel like this masculine is feeling some throat chakra blocks coming up around the idea of communicating with you in the 3d which is potentially why so much is coming through at this kind of higher self level at this time again through dreams or other forms of kind of telepathic experience and with angel of love reversed the reason he's struggling to reach out in the 3d is because potentially because of the regret he's feeling because of what happens 
or just because of his own self-image. I'm getting some masculines here may struggle with self-image issues in spite of potentially the layers of pride they may have put on. I feel like this combines maybe leading him to be hesitant to reach out. I'm hearing a masculine here say, I don't want to derail your life, but I want to open up and be vulnerable about something with the sacral chakra in the upright position. With strategy upright, I have to tell you this strategy card coming out on the throat chakra tells me this masculine could be planning some kind of communication. I see someone typing and retyping a message or writing a letter and throwing it away. So you may expect to actually hear from this person in the near future if there has been silence between the two of you. But what it's going to require is for him with thinking man coming out again and door to personal healing and happiness, this movement forward here, this communication is going to require of him to get out of his mind, his conscious, logical thinking mind to focus on his own healing here, on cultivating his own sense of inner happiness and the way that you, Divine Feminine, can, and really the only way you can facilitate that, ironically, is by focusing mainly on yourself and your own spiritual path and journey here. Because as I'm saying, you in this masculine, your paths are intrinsically connected. They are intertwined. So as you focus on your own, what you believe to be individual self mission here on earth, you actually hold the space hold the light, hold the door open for this masculine energy to continue awakening in his own way as well. Wow, very, very beautiful reading coming through here for someone. So I do hope this connected with you in some kind of meaningful way. If it did, be sure to leave me a comment and let me know. The links to the three subliminals that I recommend most for you, which just to recap are the seven chakra clearing, the awakened divine feminine, and the twin flame surrender subliminals. All of those are in the pinned comments and description box. You can click any of those links to explore more about the energetic benefits infused into each meditation. And again, when you create a free trial account on my website, you can try out any of these subliminals completely free for seven days. So thank you so much for tuning in today. I am wishing you the most beautiful day. I am sending you huge amounts of love, light, and healing energy if you need it and are open to receiving it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will talk to you again in the next reading.